Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about a really simple but yet tricky problem. So this, uh, this information is given fx whole square, so basically function whole square is equal to x square for all x, okay, for all x this is given to you and it is also given that the function f is continuous, f is continuous. If it's continuous, you have to find how many such functions are there. Okay, this is the question. How many? How many such functions are there? So how many functions? How many uh, functions f, which are continuous and also satisfying f x square, f x whole square is actually equal to x square. This came in this exam, uh, the West Bengal PSC 2022 as, uh, for recruiting assistant professors, and this problem is really really tricky, and we should understand this. And this is the content of this video. If you are liking the content, please take a moment to like this video. And of course, subscribe to our channel to learn more and more important and high quality mathematics. So let us start. This condition is given. So this condition is uh, right away giving you fx equal to uh, fx equal to plus minus x, right? So you can take this function fx equal to x. This is continuous, yes. And this is satisfying fx whole square equal to x square? Yes. You can also take fx equal to minus x, right? This is so easy. And this is also satisfying uh, the two conditions. Continuous? Yes. And fx whole square equal to x square? Yes. So at least we have two functions, right? But if you just write the uh, answer 2 in the exam, this is actually wrong. Why? Because there will be other functions also which are continuous and satisfy this equation. Okay. Let us see how, how to find them. So basically suppose this is the uh, real line you can say and then uh, there is somewhere uh, 0, right? 0. And suppose I am giving you this function. It goes like this. Okay. I will use another color. Suppose the function goes like this and then this okay so you can you can check that this is the function fx equal to mod x fx equal to mod x okay so whether fx equal to mod x we can add to this list so this is number this is number one this is number two okay and this is number 3. Whether we can add this function, let us check. fx equal to fx equal to mod x. Okay. Is this the same function as fx equal to x? No. Is this same as fx equal to minus x? No. fx equal to mod x is a different function. Different from these two at least. Okay. And we will shall check whether it is continuous. fx equal to mod x is continuous. And whether fx whole square, which is mod x square is also x square. Yes. So, both ticks are done and therefore this is another function is the answer 3 the answer is no why because there will be another function let me write it here so fourth function can we write fx equal to minus mod x also okay so fx equal to minus mod x we will check one by one by one uh, continuity yes this function is continuous right and whether fx whole square, when we do whole square, this is minus mod x whole square, which is again x square, nothing else, right? Minus mod x whole square. So we have got at, at least four functions, four such functions which are continuous and satisfy this condition. If you want to look at the graph of this fx of minus mod x, then okay, I will use another color. So this function, the fourth function is just this, right? So basically, they are coming from combinations of the functions fx equal to x, which is this, right? And fx equal to minus x, which is this. These are the combinations, right? So fx equal to x, fx equal to minus x, right? And then this one, fx equal to mod x, and this one, fx equal to minus mod x, okay? So we have found four such functions. The question is whether there are any other functions. That's the important question because there are also options like countably infinite or uncountably infinite, right? Whether there are many more functions than uh, four. Let us check. 
Well, so how to check whether there are any other functions? So suppose this is the again real line, okay, real axis, and suppose zero somewhere, okay. So if you are considering any other break, I mean breaking the function at any other point. So suppose x equal to one, okay. Suppose we are uh, considering the function f around this point x equal to 1 so in in a small neighborhood of 1 okay suppose this is a small neighborhood of 1 the thing is that we have we have to have this function i at any particular point a it should be either minus a or a right because the condition is this if your whole square is minus a square so if a for any particular x equal to a okay if a must be minus a or plus a in any at any individual point right so suppose i am taking x equal to 1 here okay so a equal to 1 so the functional values around 1 around this interval will be either 1 or minus 1 right either 1 or minus 1 now suppose if you you know suppose you are choosing if if x equal to 1 so basically suppose you are choosing f 1 equal to 1 okay then since the function is continuous here so f 1 equal to 1 somewhere since the function is continuous here okay the nearby values around 1 okay some nearby values like here or here consider this to be a very small neighborhood so the nearby values should be in positive because if you take some one point let's say 0 0 0 1 because of continuity since this point is very close to 1 the functional value here should also be very close to 1 right but the values have only uh, two two different choices either it has to be plus of that or minus of that if you write it minus of 1.0001 this function is really discontinuous right because some values are here and a very nearby uh, point around x equal to 1 the functional value is negative which is somewhere which is somewhere here okay so some values are here and some values are here therefore this breaking of the function f the required function actually breaking of the required function f at any other non-zero point is not possible because instead of taking 1 if you even take f equal if uh, x equal to 2 okay then f2 is either 2 or minus 2 okay suppose you consider f2 equal to minus 2 okay so again same thing x equal to 2 okay around this point you are choosing minus 2 value so somewhere here minus 2 okay now for any nearby value around 2 you also have to take the minus points right so minus of that so any nearby 2.00001 even okay for this you have to take minus 2.00001 because only two options are plus 2.0001 or minus 2.00. If you take plus, the functional value at a point which is very close to 2 will become here, functional value. And then this will be discontinuous, right? There cannot be any such jump around a very uh, close neighborhood of 2. Okay. Because of continuity, we have to take it minus. Once we have taken it minus, so f, so basically you have to take fx equal to minus x for any nearby value right for any nearby value, if you have to if you have to, if you have to take fx equal to minus x and therefore in some way, sense the function is actually defined to be uh, defined to be sorry defined to be minus x here okay at least around 2 okay suppose this is 0 here at least around 2 it is defined to be minus x okay and therefore there is no other possibilities outside these so this is the only possibility these are the only possibilities actually you have to combine them and to combine them you have to check where whether they are intersecting they are intersecting only at zero right and therefore you can break the function at only x equal to zero at any other point the breaking is not possible because at any other point once you have taken some positive positive value or negative value the function is actually defined for all of the uh, elements there right around 2 so you cannot change this at 0 it is possible because around 0 because around 0 
because around zero, if you take any neighborhood, okay, the plus values, let's say plus a, where a is very small because it is close to zero, and minus values, their difference, a minus, let's say minus a, which is twice a, is also very small, right? Which is also very small, twice a. Therefore, this mixing, mixing of these these four things is possible at x equal to 0. Anywhere else this is more not possible. You cannot, you cannot actually uh, mix x and minus x. Okay. So, this is, this, this is the simple region. So, x where x equal to minus x only at x equal to 0. At any other x, x is not equal to minus x and therefore this mixing is not possible or the breaking of the function at any other point is not possible and therefore there are only these four possible functions okay and therefore the answer b is uh, the correct answer okay i hope you got it and uh, that's all in this video and i thank you for watching